Closing and exiting Word. Let's take a look with three documents currently opened, how I could simply close using the taskbar. Then we'll open up Word and take a look at how you can close within Word. So on the taskbar, I have three different Word documents open. I just rest my mouse on the taskbar and I can see all three of those. When I rest my mouse, see the little red X? It actually activates the file, shows it to me on the screen, puts a little red X in the corner. So when I get to the Certificate of Achievement, this is the one I no longer want open. I'm going to go ahead and click on that little X and it closes. See, it brings me back down to just two files. Now, if I needed to make any um, change, sorry, if I had made any changes and I needed to save any of those changes, then it would simply tell me, please save your changes before you close. Don't worry, it won't let you close without saving your changes. Let's go ahead and activate the business trip just by clicking on it and take a look at this X here in the top right hand corner. This is the same close button that we just saw a moment ago. So it's exiting Word. It's closing the current document that you're in. So I'll go ahead and click this X and now I exited Word. See, it doesn't automatically pop me back up into the other window. It exited Word and it closed that copy. Let's go ahead and open the last one that I have open here. Another way that you can do this is go to your file into the backstage. Now you'll notice that there is no exit here. When you're leaving, let's just scroll down and make sure nothing hiding. Yes, nothing up my sleeve here. All right, you no longer have an exit word. What happens is you have the opportunity to close this particular Word document. And when you close this Word document, it leaves Word open. It says, hey, do you need to do something else now? Would you like to be working inside of Word? And it gives you that opportunity then to do whatever it is you'd like to do in Word with no file open. Well, no, I really don't want to be doing anything here. So you know, you could use your taskbar, click the X to exit, or you could click the X up here to exit. Or if you're using a touch screen, you simply go to the top of your screen and just drag it right off the screen and that would also exit Word. So it's 100% up to you how you'd like to do that. However, before I exit Word, I want to do just Control N just to get a brand new document on the screen so I have my resources available. I want to show you another feature that I personally really like and that is on my quick access toolbar here you can have the open feature and the close feature available. The open is available just with the resources that are here or you can go into more commands and in more commands choose all commands. Once the all commands load just click on any one and hit O. Oh, excuse me I wanted to close excuse me. Hit C on your keyboard and scroll down until you find close and then you have right here close window. You have all of these close choices that are available for you. I simply want to choose close. You also have close all if that's a feature that you would like. And you can add that over any of these closes that you would like. And now you also have on your quick access toolbar you have the availability to close a document. And so you can see that that document is now closed as well. So personal preference prevails. And then when you're finished, again, you can swipe off the screen if you have a touch screen or just click the X in the top right hand corner. And what it will do then is it will close that copy of Word and all of Word is now closed on my screen. Here's a quick pop quiz question. What is one option for exiting Word? A. Use the keyboard control plus the C key. B. Click the close tab. C. Click the X in the top right corner of the screen. D. Right click the file tab and select close. The correct answer is C. In the top right hand corner of the screen there is an X and when you click that X you will exit Word.